Nobody wants to stop over, you know. Besides, what's a super king bed without you in it? Oh, no, Nick, you don't have to do that. I just... Oh, damn, he's coming over. What now? Yes. Oh, I can't face him. I don't know what to say. Well, calm down for a start. He's just checking you're OK. So just, you know, smile and tell him you missed him. Hey. Hey. I missed you. Yeah. I missed you. Mm. Mm. I just wanted to pop in, uh, check you all right. How was your trip? Yeah, great. We were tramping round stalls most of the day, weren't we? How's the hotel? Oh, yeah, it was lovely. You see Tracy? Yeah. Mm. Didn't really chat, though. <laughs> Robert managed to blag the bridal suite, Jammy Swine. He rang me, said he was going to be late. How's the food? Well, she's getting married in a couple of months, isn't she? She didn't eat. I didn't eat. Hey, look, I, I better go. I've got to meet him with Robert. Uh, what are you doing? Um, wedding stuff. OK, look, uh... Mm. You take it easy. Mm. Okay. I love you. I love you. So I've been thinking about it all night. It just comes down to a simple choice. Either I tell Nick or Tracy does. Well, could just be a wind-up. She might just be trying to make you sweat. Oh, really? Well, she's doing a good job. I didn't even go near the sauna. Mm, nor me. I had a treatment book. OK, if you're right, if I, I bluff it out, and that's a big gamble even by my standards. Look, if you slept with my fella and I found out about it, I'd wring your neck and I certainly wouldn't be waiting... What? Four weeks to do it. Mm. She's biding her time. Well, didn't she say there was another option? Yep. But I don't know what. Hmm. Well, she might just be softening you up before she starts demanding a load of cash. Oh, I don't care. I deserve what I get. I cheated on him. <sighs> she is loving every minute of this, isn't she? Shell, I can't take the risk of Nick hearing it from her. I don't know, maybe for just tell him exactly how it happened. Oh, well, be very sketchy on the detail, though. No, what I mean that it was uh, meaningless, pointless, awful, just one off with his chef. He's gonna dump me. Oh, if you've come to grovel or buy yourself more time, you can forget that. I don't need more time. I know what I'm gonna do. Really? I'm not being pushed around by you anymore, Tracy. I'm gonna tell Nick everything. I didn't say that. Just let me talk to her. Look, here she comes. Look, I'll talk to her and I'll phone you, okay? Hi, Carla. Hi, Gail. Uh, now, uh, I've just suggested something to Nick about the wedding, which we're all looking forward to very much. I'm sure you'll make my son very happy. You will. Oh, I want to. I'll try. And I don't want you to think I'm interfering. It's only a little thing, and I won't be offended if you don't like the sorry, idea. Gail, will this hit on? Oh, no. No, I'm sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't thinking. I, I've got a lot on my mind. Yes, of, of course you have them. Um, I'll leave it to Nick to tell you. Everything OK? It's no big deal what she wants. I, mean, it's just I need to tell you something important. And to add, rather it be yeah, alone. Yeah, we'll do. Cheers, mate. OK, bye. Bye. Hey, everyone's raving about your panna cotta. Uh, yeah, every time I put it on, it sells out in about an hour. Uh, listen, uh, I just had a phone call from this dairy. They sound quite good. Do you want to come and look at the website? I thought I might put an order in. Yeah, OK. Hey, Carl. Uh, I'll just deal with this. Okay? I won't be long. 